Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigie here getting ready to take out the Swedish 1.7 J11 in their arcade. Um, in the positive side for this, 50 cows. It's got 250 cows. They hit hard. Um, kind of reminds me of the CR42. Takes planes out pretty damn easy. Um, also positive, it's a biplane, so it can turn better than any monoplanes um, that you're going to run into. Negative side is it doesn't turn as good as the I-15s or the HE-51s or the key 10s and it doesn't go real fast, so it doesn't hold energy very well. It's got a good climb rate, but in holding energy, it's not great. So let's uh, take it out and see what we can do. All right, so we have an air dom. Uh, let's see, we've got our stealth ammo, 800 meter targeting distance and minimum fuel load. We did just receive the engine injection. It should help a lot on this. Go ahead and climb a little bit off center here at 30 degrees with our weapon to start and see who we're up against. Checking the BR. So 1323 match, we're in a 17, so it's mostly up tier. All right, our wet petered out. We're gonna bring our horizontal down to the horizon. <laughs> Try to get some speed up and then go for another climb. So typically in an air dom, whoever has the highest altitude, whichever team holds the highest altitude is gonna win the game. Um, down at these levels though, typically what happens is there's just a big old fur ball under the A point, so. Don't worry too much about staying up here. I do like to try and get a bit of an energy advantage from the beginning, so unless anybody comes directly at us, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, let them go by, even if we're there below us. Or if you get a real good opportunity like that 109, put himself out of energy there. We'll go look him up real quick. Like the BA 65s focused on our buddy. So we can't dissuade him from doing that in the future. 109's flying away. 112 is possibly an issue. We'll see. Yep, once they head on, we don't because we can outturn them. Let's go and flip back down. Get our shots here. Yep, we're good. Alright, if you guys coming out of their spawn, this 109's the uh, next highest one up, so we'll focus him. He can definitely outclimb us, but we can outturn him. Alright, he's down. Let's get a little altitude back and go ahead and reload. So also gives you a lot of those uh, 50 cal rounds. I think you get a thousand. We only had, well, we had 686 left when we reloaded, which is plenty, but always like a fresh batch. 900, not a thousand, so 900 rounds. All right, so we're just gonna fly over the fur ball for now. Eventually we're gonna dive in, but I wanna dive in behind kind of their guys coming out of spawn. It's a good way to get a kill or two without them knowing you're there. Just keep our eye, make sure nobody's coming up after us. I think that 112's the guy that we killed, so he might want to come after us. But let's go ahead and dive in. This 123 looks like a decent target. He was. We're going to give up all our energy here, but I'm going to try and come out on the other side of this uh, towards our spawn point so we can get help if we need it. And rebuild that energy. Alright, so we're just going over towards our spawn point, watching that 112. He is interested in us. He's probably the guy we killed. Gunner got lucky. 
So since we're fighting on our side of the battlefield right now towards our spawn, that 112 screw for coming after us. So we're gonna have to deal with multiple friendlies from our side. Even better, we shoot him down and piss him off and he comes back again. All right, heading back in, plenty of ammo. Engine shot up, which is definitely a bad thing. But shit happens. Got to make the most out of it. Get some good hits on him. There he goes. Well, I decide to do the right thing and die. The yeah, air speed's suffering. It's 115. We need to get from the start. We cannot turn fight him normally, especially now with the screwed up engine. Or we can just miss him. Works too. The 251 we turned right in front of. It was a bad idea. Different guy on a 112. He's down. Thank you, I-15. Don't want to play. And that's why. Alright, well we ended up with 8 kills, that's a good run. Alright, sit rep is, we're in the J-8A. In our first plane we ended up with 8 air kills. Diving back in now. Other teams lost. They're starting to lose a decent amount of their players. I think we've only lost a few. See a lot of green below us. So, not much to aim at. We're just going to go ahead and uh, keep climbing towards the guys coming out of their spawn. And keep in mind all our friendlies are below us, so if we get in trouble, we're going to dive. I-15 is definitely a potential problem. He seems interested. Other guys are just cruising below us. They're not worried about us. That's good. Let's get our speed up, see if we can get a few shots into him. Not enough to do any real damage. Surprised we're faster than he is. Must have had an energy advantage to start. So we're just kind of waiting for him to pick a target there. Good hits, he's down. Let's flip it back around. 26. Getting chased by a bunch of our guys. He's down. 123. Cut the assist. Let's go ahead and reload. And let's head towards their guys coming out of spawn. So we're not in the cap yet. Let's see where the uh, floor of this thing is. Almost 3,000 feet. Interesting. Alright, BF2 below us. Gladiator coming in up top. He's down. Let's get after the Gladiator. Let's get into the cap zone. low on speed right now. He's gonna climb stall us, but that's alright. Let's try and get out of the way. 
quick. And our team captain. Nice. Our engine's out, but we'll be alive long enough for this thing to end. So we died once, but we did end up with 13 kills between the two aircraft, 8 with the J-11, 5 with the J-88. We got Hero of the Sky, which is awesome, and second place on the team. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on next one. America! Fuck yeah! To save this fucking day, yeah! Beautiful.